I'm almost home. Now the question is, do I hug my mom? Because she's over 60. So she's one of the high risk, she belongs to the high risk group of getting uh, the coronavirus. As much as I want to hug her, touch her, I'm probably going to have to play on the safe side, just do social distancing. Yeah, it's hard because I don't want her, I don't want risking it, you know? I mean, I could be, you have to assume that you're asymptomatic, so. Hey guys, welcome back to the Tim Tayak channel. And it's been a while since I've done uh, one of these vlogs, but since, um, since since the whole world's been going through some some uh, some stuff that's just you know making you realize what what really matters in life, I decided to just uh, just kind of open up to you guys because uh, I know everybody everybody's going going through something. Uh, we're all going through some anxiety, uh, missing our families especially. Like uh, I haven't um, seen my mom in months because uh, right after Christmas, I think, yeah, Christmas was the last time I actually saw her because um, we traveled around that time after Christmas. My, my wife and my kids, we went abroad and uh, when we got back, we only had like a couple of, uh, like a month before the lockdown started. So I haven't really seen her and I really miss her a lot. Um, a lot of people just don't know this about me, they just think I'm just a comedian, but really um, as a comedian you're not you're not always on, you know what I mean? Like in fact a lot of comedians uh, that I know are, are pretty serious, you know, when they're not on stage. And um, yeah, so I guess I guess I haven't really shown this side of me. Uh, but at the same time it's kinda it's kinda liberating to just not try to be funny. Um, and just share with you guys how I'm feeling. Uh, uh, so finally, now that we're in uh, GCQ, I think I think I might be able to go back to work, which is in Angeles. A lot of you th people don't know this, but I actually live in two cities in the Philippines. I live in Manila for most of the week, and then I live in Angeles because that's where my work is and that's where I'm from. So my mom uh, is st still there. So every week I usually go there but because of the... ECQ and ECQ, I haven't been able to go, so this is going to be the first time. So I'm pretty excited. Uh, my mom and I, we talk on the phone. I mean, on Viber, you know, WhatsApp, sometimes we FaceTime, but of course it's different when you when you see your mom face to face, and that's that's something I haven't done in a long time. So given the situation, I, I'm not really sure if I can even hug her, but I think just to be around her, Probably, I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll take that, just being around her, um, you know, making sure she's okay. Because I know, uh, like, she's alone now. She sees some people that uh, visit her in her house, but for the most part, my, my brother's abroad, my, my sister is there, but uh, it's, um, she minimizes the time um, that she sees my mom just to, for her own safety, for my mom's own safety, since she's a bit older. All right, so um, I'm going to get ready. Go to Angeles. I'm gonna pack some things. So, wish me luck, guys. This is gonna be the first time in what three months, four months? No, three three months, I think, or less than three months. I don't even remember because time is just a figment of my imagination now. Uh, but this is the first time I'm going to Edsa, which is normally really bad. Like, uh, takes you like. I don't know, two hours, takes me two hours to get to my destination, which is the NLEX. So, let's see. Let's see what the situation is. Now, I don't know what that lane is for, but yeah, nobody's using it. I think it's for VIPs, because the rest of us are just normal people. Okay, oh, maybe it's for, I don't know, maybe it's for frontliners. 
uh, tried to get on the lane on the left, but uh, there were two uh, traffic policemen that just told me to keep going, so I don't really know what it is. Oh well, well it looks like the uh, traffic is easing up now. It's nice to see my idol. Hello, Coco. Well, not the other Coco that I don't, I don't think is a hero, but hello, Coco. Nice to see you again. Thanks for your support. Thanks for supporting the, what is that, the MRT. Stop. the things I really missed during the lockdown was of course Starbucks coffee well just any professionally made coffee in general um, I was drinking mostly uh, just homemade coffee which is still good but it's different you know when you're, <laughs> when you're drinking signature signature coffee I know my happiness level has gone really way down which is good right because now it just takes simple things to make me happy so. we're gonna keep it simple so we'll be quick hello hi good morning this is Carper. can i get for you today uh can i have a doppio espresso okay anything else that's it okay thank you so excited to have my doppio <laughs> Hello. Hey, What's that? Yes, Tokyo. Yes, it's so ready. How much time? Okay, I'm ready. 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 Okay, Oh, hello, hello, hello. Sir, pa, abot ka na lang po. Sige. One moment. Thank you. Sir, And money flow, eh. No, no. Sir, okay. pigi ko na muna yung sir. Okay, thank you. Tati lang pala. Thank you. Okay po. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Ingat. Bye. Yes. Who knew? A doppio espresso could make me so happy. Oh my gosh. I'm just so happy. Thank you. Thank you. Simple joys in life. Now I'm gonna enjoy this. I'm gonna park first, of course, and enjoy my Tilpio. I've heard uh, horror stories of some people not being able to get into Angeles because they, for whatever reason, uh, maybe they lack the proper paperwork or whatnot. So we'll see. Um, this is my first time entering again. So, well, I do have, I do have an ID. Luckily, I have an ID that has a, an Angeles address. Um, so hopefully whoever is at the checkpoint will just honor that and let me go home so here goes we are now at the um the toll exit let's see what happens looks like there's a control checkpoint here uh okay nobody is okay looks like nobody's manning it oh they're all busy they're all over there all right Whew, I got a bit nervous there because uh, <laughs> I don't know for some reason I was just a bit nervous but uh, yeah luckily I uh, was able to go through no problem 
So we'll now see, because some of the people that I know, the people at my company, they were saying that every barangay, sometimes it depends on the person at the checkpoint, they'll ask for like a barangay ID or a quarantine pass. So we'll see how this goes. I can't wait to see my mom. There's a checkpoint. All right, let me just let me just talk to these guys. Hold on. Um, okay. Hello. Uh, boss. Ah. Boss. Wah, wow. Ali. Ah. Uh, taga taga kini ko. Wah. Uh, what? What's it? Kani paradise niya. Ina. Ina. Wah. Okay. Na? Hi. Hi, thank you, thank you, thank you. Woo! That was close. Alright. They accepted my uh, my ID. And now I'm like five minutes away from the house. Woo! Thank you. I was kinda nervous there. I thought they were gonna ask for some other documentation which I don't have. Thank God. Okay, we're at the home stretch. I'm almost home. Now the question is, do I hug my mom? Because she's over 60, so she's one of the high risk, she belongs to the high risk group of getting uh, the coronavirus. As much as I wanna hug her, touch her, I'm probably gonna have to play on the safe side, just do social distancing. Yeah, it's hard because I don't want her I don't want risking it, you know? I mean, I could be, you have to assume that you're asymptomatic, so. Uh, we'll see, well. Okay, I'm almost there. I, uh, my mom hasn't had a cook for a while, because the uh, Sita, our cook, and all around the uh, Kasambahay, Abe, in Kia Kaming Abe has been in Tarlac, so my mom has been cooking for herself. So I'm gonna surprise her with some dessert. She's been, she's been wanting some cheesecake, she mentioned, so I have some cheesecake here. Uh, I have a bigger one, it's a box. Thanks to Casey, she's the one who made it. Uh, I'm gonna give it to her. She doesn't know I'm bringing it, so it's a surprise. All right, I think she's home. Yeah, I called her earlier, but I didn't tell her what time I was gonna get here because I, just, I wasn't sure and strangely enough there was more traffic here in Angeles than in Manila so all right so uh, I got a plate safe I'm gonna wear a mask and a face shield okay okay here we are we're home Whew. problem with this face shield is it fogs up so I can't see anything Okay. I'm gonna surprise my mom with this. She's big. Alright. I think she's home. She should be home. Ma? Mommy? Okay, so my my mom's here. There she is! Hi! <laughs> that's it, that's it, that's all we could do. That's it, I can't touch her, because she's a senior citizen, so... That's the best we could do for now. Well, you know, as much as I 
I wanted to uh, really give my mom a hug. I, I just don't want to risk it. So I'm going to be content with just seeing her for now and at least being in the same, same area. Uh, so guys, uh, tell your loved ones you know, how much you love them and appreciate them because uh, that's the silver lining, I guess, with this whole pandemic is we, we begin to realize how, how people really mean a lot to us and uh, that, you know, we always take it for granted. So that's it. All right, guys, stay safe, stay, stay healthy. Bye.